Hey there, it's me again. Um, since the last update, I was able to get um, an Arduino talking to a mobile device through Bluetooth. And since then, um, I freed it from the messiness of the breadboard and consolidated it into this thing magic. Now, the first thing, there's a couple things. I really crudely mounted the Bluetooth breakout right here and then gave it some shorter wires and give it a cardboard bottom so that whatever it's sitting on doesn't directly contact the uh, circuits. But this is the big new thing, and this is what I want to talk about today. So the idea that I'm pursuing is going to require that I'm able to somehow measure the speed of a physical wheel, um, and I'm going to do that with this. So the general idea of this thing is that this is going to rest or be mounted on a bike of any kind, any size, and it shouldn't be intrusive in any way. It should just be able to like tack onto it or rest on the floor or rest on, a, on a, underneath the seat. And this little gooseneck is going to help me adjust where this is going to point at the wheel, where I'm going to sample the rotations to measure its speed. And I'm going to do that by using this cool little component up here which is an infrared um, reflector sensor. Now, I was starting to build this by myself, but I found this component uh, conveniently, and it's all got this like really nice casing. What it is, it's two parts. You can kind of see that. It's, they're split into two parts. You look on this end, if you can see that. Um, on the left, there's an infrared light. An infrared light is invisible to our eye, and it's angled in a way that it kind of shoots at a diagonal, I believe. And on this side, there's a sensor that is looking for infrared reflection. So the general idea is that this is going to be shooting infrared light, and if it contacts, I mean, sorry, if it bounces off a reflective material back into the sensor, then we get a positive and we, we can kind of act on that. So I'm going to demonstrate about that. And I added a couple other little tidbits here. This is a potentiometer to kind of adjust the and calibrate for the different uh, lighting environments. And this LED is just to give me some feedback when I do get a positive read of um, a reflection. So let me show you how that works. Uh, let's see. So right now it's on, and if you notice, if I put something like this, this little box here, really close, nothing happens because black is a surface that absorbs light. It doesn't reflect it back. But the moment that I move it over to something like the tape or something like this white surface, we get a positive read because it's actually getting reflected back. So. The idea here is that I'm going to put this, I, I want to be able to attach this to any type of bike and put just a little tiny reflective sticker on the tire and point this at the sticker so that every time the wheel turns, it's going to register at least once to pick up on it. And then I can measure the time between the reads and that gives me its revolution over time. And then I can kind of figure out speed from there and then do whatever I need to do and send it through Bluetooth to the app to do something more interesting. But this is kind of like the base requirement of it. So give me a second. I'm going to mount this onto like a little tricycle and then you can see it in action. All right. So I very, very crudely just mounted this to this little tricycle here. And one thing I'll notice is it the requirement that I, I made for myself is that this is not an intrusive thing. I don't want to you know, have to cut into whatever the, the bike is to construct the sensor. I just want to be able to, as simple as this, is tape it on or mount it without actually having to screw up the bike itself. So I've put that here right now. And, and one thing is that this is really gigantic and there's, there's, this could very easily be reduced into, or not very easily, but it could very possibly be reduced to something completely just the size of this. Right now, it's for my purposes, it worked out nicely that I committed to the Arduino Uno because it sits as a base and this kind of works as like a, a gooseneck lamp. I'm pointing it right here 
at the wheel and I've added, all I've done is taped a little piece of paper here. Now again, remember that it's white um, bounces light and black absorbs it. So right now it's on and we don't see the LED on because the infrared light is not getting bounced back and, and received. But the moment that this wheel turns over to white, you'll see that we get a positive. It trips it and we can mark the time here in milliseconds when this first trip occurs and then time it the next time this thing goes all the way around and trips it a second time. And then if we accumulate enough of that reading, we can get, we can average it and get a sense of speed. Maybe we measure the diameter or like the distance covered in one revolution, we can figure out speed, or maybe we're just interested in the general acceleration and deceleration. But that's what it is, and it's pretty neat. And um, yeah, I think the next step is to figure out on the software side of things, what can we do that's interesting um, with a speed reading in the physical world. So I have some ideas. I'm going to prove that out probably in the next couple of weeks.